Hi everyone, in this video we'll be looking at another reversing challenge from hackthebox.eu uh, This is the find easy, find easy pass challenge which is an easy challenge, it's been uh, released for a long time and many many people have solved it so it should be a nice easy challenge for us here we need to find the password and then enter the flag in the form hack the box with the password in curly braces so uh, I've downloaded the file so you can do that yourself and unzip it and then we can run file and see that we have a 32-bit executable for Windows so we could do a, do a few checks on here. Let's do strings dash n10 and just check for all strings that are greater than 10. Let's see if we have any passwords that appear to be sticking out, which I don't see any. It looks like we have a lot of noise that's been added in to make reverse engineering a little bit more difficult. So possibly the password's in here somewhere, but they're not making it easy for us to find anyway. Because it's a Windows application, we could run Wine, and then so that we can run it inside of Linux. Try and put in a password. And we'll see here we get wrong password. So we're going to want to do some debugging on it, or have a look at the, or disassemble it. And to do that, I'm going to just jump over to the Windows box rather than doing things in here. So I have the Commando VM here, which is um, kind of the equivalent of Kali Linux but for Windows you can set this up and it just installs a lot of uh, pen testing tools and things like that I think they actually have one something similar for malware analysis and reverse engineering and stuff but personally I use a lot of this for the like pen testing and CTF stuff anyway so I've just installed whatever extra things I need for reverse engineering, any, any extra tools and stuff for reverse engineering or malware analysis rather than getting the, their other operating system. If they do have one, I think they do. So we have our easy pass here. Uh, let's first of all just go and have a look at disassembling it. So we could open this in IDA Pro. I'm going to use Geardra just because I'm trying to get a bit more experience with it. This is the disassembler that was open sourced by the NSA a year or two ago I think. So we just create a new project, let's just call it easy and then we can go ahead and we can add files to that so we can drag them in or we can import file grab our easypass.exe import it, it'll give us some information about the binary here you can see here and just hit OK, double click that and that will go into the analysis of easypass it's not been analyzed, would you like to analyze? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, do everything on default. So here we have our imports and exports and functions and stuff on the left. You can see it's still trying to analyze those. We have our different sections up here, so we can have a look at the data section, things like that, and see what we have. And you can see it's still doing the analysis down here, which is why we're still getting a bit of some stuff loading. And we have our decompiler here on the right. So this decompiler, whenever we select a, diff a section of code, it's going to give us the decompiled code so as close to the original kind of C code as possible. We can go in here, we can search for strings. You can see here we're getting a list of some of the strings in the program. Um, we had one that was, well, we had incorrect password. Okay, nothing there. Ah, wrong password, wrong password, okay. So you see here, enter password, wrong password here, and you see whenever we select that, it's actually changing the location in the, in the background. And you can see here's the wrong password section. And here we have a good job, congratulations. And we can go to the function that that's referenced in. You can see here, here's our condition. If bvar2, then good job. If not, it was the wrong password. And so we can try and work out what's going on here, disassembling that. It's obviously been designed in a way to try and make reverse engineering through kind of static analysis more difficult. 
in here we have a lot of functions and different folders trying to kind of obfuscate things we don't even have a main function for us to jump into but I mean if we wanted to statically reverse engineer this would be the the code we'd be looking at uh, I'm not going to do that because it's going to be a lot more effort than doing some dynamic analysis so let's close Gidra down and we'll want to open this in a debugger so pick your debugger of choice, they'll, they'll, they'll all be fine for this. Um, I will do immunity, I did this previously in Ollie but I don't really like the colour scheme on it so do it on immunity and let's, there's a couple of ways we could do this. Uh, we could run it, f run the program first, I'm going to jump straight in and search for strings and we know that we have our good job congratulations and a wrong password so let's have a look and see where this call is good job congratulations and obviously we have a jump not zero here so we're calling that function I guess it's going to be the function to, which had all that uh, the big chunk of code in it the big chunk of um, kind of obfuscated code um, it's going to jump there and then we're going to do a comparison and if if it's obviously if the password is correct when you get good job congratulations if not when you get a uh, wrong password so let's go ahead and we can set um, a breakpoint here with F2 toggle the breakpoint so set a breakpoint and run the program you can see we get our thing here asking us for a password so let's put in pass and whenever we run that you'll see that here we've entered pass and down here we can see another ASCII value of Fortran with an exclamation mark so it looks like that could be our password let's hit play just to continue and you can see that was our wrong password but now we've we've seen this password in the code let's do Fortran exclamation mark check password we've hit this breakpoint but if you look here you should see that the ASCII that we've entered is Fortran exclamation mark and the, the ASCII down here is also Fortran exclamation mark so we could step through instruction by instruction and see what this is doing but uh, let's just hit play to continue and we'll see good job congratulations so we found the password it's just now a case of going and entering that password into our uh, to submit the flag okay hope you've enjoyed this challenge any questions leave them in the comments thanks